welcome welcome all my live stream friends around the world i'm just uh, trying to switch off the that doesn't work i tried to switch off uh, my wi-fi i forgot to do that on this phone but anyway um if there is an issue then uh, we just restart and i come back welcome to chantal tv in paris Père Lachaise, the biggest cemetery in the world and i'm slowly waiting for you guys to join um, a restream is separate, so that's Facebook and Twitch. And Nina is here. Good vibes, Maurice Bieder. Hi guys, bienvenue, welcome to the cemetery in Paris, the world famous Père Lachaise. What can I say about it? Well, I have, I think, well, this is what I thought. Hi, Ricky, bonjour everyone. Hi, Abel. I think I have the details ready, yes. So it is designed by A.T. Bronjaar in 1804, howdy how, um, to replace the unsanitary Paris cemeteries. This landscape funeral park is the largest green space in Paris, an important site of memories. It has 70,000 graves, the communist wall, monuments to concentration camp deportees and veterans, a pioneer in the development of funerary practices. The cemetery includes the first crematorium, 1887, the columbarium, 1889, and the funeral garden in France, 1985. Now I am right next to the, the columbarium. So let's, hi Chris, bonjour, bonjour. Let's uh, switch the camera over and see what's going on. That is a trash bin. <laughs> that is not a columbarium. <laughs> Sorry. Here it is. And I should read my restream chat as well to see if anybody else from other platforms like Twitter, Periscope. Uh, hi, Martin. Hi, Valerie. Peggy. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, guys. Look at this. This is the columbarium. So this is where they have all the bones and it's pretty amazing but we're gonna watch the outside one if you're on twitter or you're on twitch or on facebook i don't even know what i've switched on facebook facebook and uh, periscope i think then come and join us on youtube youtube.com slash chantal tv i'm sure it's in just go to chantal.tv my website and you'll find it helen ça va Foggy Santa Cruz, bonjour, Ellen. So this is the first uh, crematorium. The first crematorium, does that mean in the world or does that mean like in France? But I think what's fascinating are those pipes. So they really burn the people. <laughs> Sorry, it just fascinates me. It fascinates me. Hi, Lily Day. Hi, Anne. Look at this, guys. It's so serene. Like, like a proper library, yeah? And yeah, it's so beautiful, Peggy. And it is like for free. You can just walk around. You can go around for hours. Don't go with the illegal uh, guides because they're warning you for that. but it's, uh, it is truly fantastic. And what I've done, I've downloaded the map. Chris, look, I forgot the map with all the notes, but here we go. What are those block squares? Um, it's a columbarium. So that is basically where they put the urns in. Is that what a columbarium is? I think it is. I can look it up. Because I have a second phone that works. Columbarium. Which is... It says, can I park? No. It's only in French. Oh, yes. 
Yes, you put the urns in there, yeah? So basically this is the crematorium. So it has these two big chimneys on it. So these are where all the services are. And then you can, so, the, so they have m multiple columbaria, I believe. And as you can see, it's very old. Hey, this is an inconnu, so they don't know him. A44. Oh, these are all, this is like another one from the war. Oh, wow. So they even have people in there that are inconnu, so they're not known. You see? So they also gave the inconnu people a grave or a plaque or a square. It's pretty impressive, huh? So this is where you, well, as you can see, the library is not totally strong because they have to support it. You don't want like to walk up there because you can go up there and then it happens what happens in Miami with that building, boom. You wouldn't want that to happen. But here we have Ristorki. I hope the, co the connection stays good. Here, this is a Godard. It takes a number of hours to turn a body to ashes. Well, I think it's pretty hot in there. But look, so it's the oldest cemetery, but not defined if that's in the world or terra firma SVP. What does that mean? Terra firma. I'm like, it's good I have a second phone. I can look everything up. Terra firma. It's a movie. Ah. Okay. Found it. I'm learning so much here. And don't walk into those things. I have friends who own funeral homes in the crematorium. It takes approximately two hours depending on the weight of a person. Well, probably in France then, half an hour. <laughs> Peggy, other question. It's maybe a little bit like weird to ask, but do they, do they burn them in really in the coffin or they take them out of the coffin and then they burn them? Just asking, so is it maybe better to put you in a recycle carton board? <laughs> and do you burn quicker if you go in the carton board one? Oh, this is also kind of weird, this blue thing. No, in a large cardboard box. So. Do they recycle those? <laughs> yeah, it sounds so weird. Do they recycle those? Uh, so you go in a cardboard box. Uh huh. But this is also like freaks me out. This. <laughs> it's like Peggy. Laurent Fillon. That's weird. Is he really not alive anymore? I have to Google him. That is the cyclics, no? Yeah, I know him as a kid. Laurent Patrick Fillon was a French professional road bicycle racer who won the Tour de France in 1983 and 1984 and Giro d'Italia in 1989. Damn it, 
That's so weird, Peggy. That is Laurent Fillon. He won two times the Tour de France. Wow, this is freaky. I know, Peggy. Isn't this weird? Well, Tim is watching the Formula One, and one hour is the Dutch, Dutch uh, national team playing for the European uh, Championship. That's why I'm broadcasting now. But who would have thought that Laurent Fillon was here? This is really, this is such a coincidence. Look, I have him here. Laurent Fillon. Because we always had Joop Soetermelk. And Joop Soetermelk, he was a, a Dutch, and he was always second behind him. Oh, guys, this totally freaks me out. Gold fillings left too. I don't think gold. It's probably like the more harsh fillings, no? Because gold melts. Well, that was like freaky. I was just like, Laurent Fignon. That is like, I was like, so 83, 84, so I was 13, 14. God. That is, that's just, yeah, that's weird. But I'm happy I'm using my second phone because I can look stuff up. I know, Peggy. But also, like, who would ever just think about Laurent Fignon? Who would think about him, you know? I mean, it's not somebody like you think about Pelé, Johan Cruyff, like all the soccer players, like here in Europe. But then him. I didn't even know he was dead. <sighs> That's sad. Okay. I was gonna look up something else. Oh yeah, YouTube itself, because basically, um, to see if that all works. And hello YouTube, don't go talk on me. <laughs> don't go talk on me. Okay, we normally go, oh yeah, here we are, 18 watching. Hello, hello, 18 people. Here's a new grave. No stone yet. Beautiful piece, huh? Well, so I have no planning walking here. Also, oh, I'm like, why do we have two uploads? <laughs> I think I can take the life now away because that's... I'm just randomly walking in. So I don't know where we're gonna end up. I know certain people just like a random stroll. I also took my hay fever pills because not so much here on the on the on the thing, but outside on my lane, oh the trees are just awful. Okay, so the life now I can remove because we don't need that. You may not think about him, but he was mentioned yesterday in the commentary. Oh, good. Oh man, we always had to watch the Tour de France when I was little. I was just actually chatting to my dad because he's waiting. He's, he lives in Thailand, so he's ahead, six hours ahead of us. So he's waiting patiently for the Dutch team to start playing. So signed into both YouTube accounts. Very good. The more the better. <laughs> I'm, also so, I'm also watching on my own. So am I going to be number 19? No, oh, still 18. I hear the crows. Yeah, but I always had to watch this, and my dad actually was watching. Um, maybe I should send him this stream, then he can watch it live as well. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, through Messenger. Hold on. I'm gonna share this. Oh, don't forget to like it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
use Facebook Messenger. Oh, dead end. Just gonna send it to uh, done. Yeah, my dad got it. The more viewers, the more watch hours, the better. I posted my little link by accident on Reddit. Oh, what you guys can do if you have a Reddit account, you can you can share this in a Reddit group of Paris or France or that people or <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> Reddit really works. Look. My grandmothers and her sisters had gold fillings that were installed in the 1800s in relatives, then extracted before burial by funeral home in early 1900s. Still have a couple in my home. Wow. Look at that. That must be there must be lots of kittens here. That's like a little a little home for the cats. Oh look. They're even feeding them. That's a bone. Well I, I, I hope. It's not a human bone. Do you see that? <laughs> That's a piece of bone. We don't have such a big bones. I think. Best to Dennis and the kitties. Supone, yeah, that's what I thought, Ricky. <laughs> but how did I get here on the? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is for Ellen. She loves angels, but this one doesn't have a head or wings or anything anymore. <laughs> it's nice just to walk around without any purpose of going to a specific grave, but just get off the road. Look like that was cracked. It was cracked open. I always oh uh oh did you hear that noise? Oh my god, there was something in here. Is the sound clear? Hi, Sue Ellis. Jay Swenson was almost locked in. I don't know if this was the one, but I live next door here. So I've seen it many times. And normally it closes at six, I believe. Let me check that. Thank you for warning me. Otherwise I have to climb. I have to climb the uh, 16 March of five new, yeah, 6 p.m. What time is it? Five, so we have time. Happy to be a Flanner. Yep. I just like to discover. Look. I mean, if you want to see specific graves, I have more like just go Chantal TV, uh, Père Lachaise, and then you will find specific graves you want to find. Pack once. And if you're trying to um, just see, I'm just trying. What's it doesn't work here? Ah, Robert, Catherine, yes. Sorry, I saw your comments, Catherine. Oh, they disappeared. I saw. Um, I will quickly go on Facebook to check the comments. Let me just go because I saw no one else alive is there. I know. Distant cousins. Wow. Yep, it was funny. Okay. Oh, my phone doesn't let me log in. If you're on Facebook, come to YouTube. YouTube.com slash Chantal TV. Well, there's a lot of people. I think we're close to... Um, the two writers. What a weird grave. It's like a four, 
of ours just landed yesterday a couple of a couple years ago she and her sister attended Versailles in Moscow oh, very good it's nice I Bobby went to international school so like our whole network is in the American like embassy American church American cathedral scouts and um, many of them uh, went actually to that um, uh, Mars Ball, always the owner of Tim's agency, <laughs> he always went, <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah, there's a crowd, there's a lot of people. Look at her, she has a shiny coat for... She has a shiny coat for a cemetery. <gasps> a cat, I never saw a cat here. Look, let's take the cat home. That's a nice kitty. Oops. Dennis, I found you another cat. Or for Zoya. Jim Morrison's grave. Hi. Well, if you want to see Jim Morrison's grave, go to my YouTube channel and just ask for Chantal TV and then Jim Morrison. I'm sure you will find his grave because I've pointed it out many times. So the end, you know, like I went to look for a hay fever in Paris. Pretty kitty, yeah? Yeah, there it is. It's a sign, like Laurent Fillon. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> it's busy. You guys are right. Yes, it's Zoya's turn. Well, actually, uh, Ricky, another cat passed away, got killed on the road, uh, Zoya's cat. And Tim showed me a picture, not when it was flattened, but before that time. And I was like, oh yeah, that one. And it turns out, she got a new one, but I had to see that on Chill Bill's channel. <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> and he's called. Oh, damn. How is the cat called? It was actually funny. Yeah, this is the cemetery. Um, what is the cat called? Well, she has 13, Ricky, and then now and then they disappear. Why do they have a bell on here? Sorry, I just... my attention span too many impressions today um oh yeah tony was the cat's name so tony passed away tony the cat and now they have a new tony so the cat is called newton <laughs> it's really awful <laughs> but i thought it was funny so it's newton tim is going to see them tomorrow Maybe it's a dinner bell. Oh, and we were very successful shopping at uh, Gal oh, not at Galli Lafayette, at uh, Samaritan. Tim was very impressed. It was very busy, very hot. <laughs> My dad is watching. Ja, dat is het eindpunt. Ja, dat weet ik. Maar dat is toch heel mooi om te zien. Ik heb heel veel anekdotes voor jou, pap. Sorry, my dad is here, so I just say some uh, Dutch things. Because he just actually typed, that is the end, this place. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, using some anecdotes of your stories. So, it's good. Look, it's very hilly, eh? Here. So, yes, kittens are lucky to have, first, have so much space. I know. Full moon cemetery is active, yes. Is there a means to attract attention if they're not dead? It's an old... <laughs> I don't know. Love to hear you speak Dutch. <laughs> I'm not sure if YouTube will like it when I speak Dutch, but anyway, I made a translation of what I was saying, so. I can't understand the damn thing, but love it, anyhow. Hey, he made it to spend time with Betty, very good. She says, hi Paris, hi Betty, and please get better soon. Betty's 99 years old, will be later in the year 100.
Sorry, I ain't been live. Sorry, because my dad doesn't understand I'm live. In one horror movie, there were a bell in the cemetery so that the mistakenly dead could ring help. <laughs> oh, don't talk about that. My dad didn't notice I was alive. Oh, look, a secret hole. So many crows, but I have learned that the crows, they're very active when the weather changes. And, Peter, of course it's going to rain. Over that Kerkhoff. Yeah. <laughs> My dad is very sarcastic. <laughs> but anyway, we wish that, um, that Betty is going to be 100. So, uh, Betty, come on, you can do that. Break records. But my dad thinks I'm weird, I'm walking over the cemetery. Because as a kid, I would never do that. And he's 82, so maybe that's a bit weird. I grew up beside... Oh, zat ik naar te kijken, he was watching. Good. I just type to my dad now and then. The 20th or 4th of July, we should do a party, Stacy. Gonna do an online party. And they were very quiet neighbors, yeah, I can imagine. They're good neighbors. Look, but this is a nice tree. Why do I like this tree? We should celebrate her birthday. Does she get an, uh, <laughs> a letter from the Queen, <laughs> from Biden? Betty's in the States. Look, this is always what a grave should look, look like. What is really creepy, the son of a lady missing in Collapsed Tower received 15 calls from the wreckage. All kidding aside here in the chat, I'm praying for these families. Oh, that's so sad, Peggy. I am just wondering, um, the grounds are not well tended, weeds are taking over. Well, that's the charm of Père Lachaise. Père Lachaise, is an, this is the cemetery's name, is a big inspiration for many. Oh, yes, we have made it, Molière. And his friend Fontaine, the two famous uh, screenwriters, writers from France. Hey, Stacy. But that is creepy, Peggy. That is so sad. Trouble there. You, even in an earthquake, people get quicker to help. So this is, they said no um, gatherings, but obviously people go gather at Font La Fontaine and the other guy, Molière. They're not actually in there. Look at this, isn't that charming? We must be close to the angel, no? This looks charming. The 15 calls came from the phone by the ladies beside. Wow. Hello, food by Utkars. I If I miss comments, I'm sorry. And if you are on Twitter or on Periscope or YouTube, no, on uh, Facebook, please come to um, YouTube. And that's why I'm reading all the comments at the moment. Maybe what, um, can I do that? Yeah, maybe what I will be doing, maybe that's easier. I'm gonna switch off Facebook and uh, Twitter, if you guys don't mind. Don't trust angels in the cemetery. The mother must be dehydrated. I know. Okay, so we have zero people on Facebook, so bye-bye. And we have 
two on Paris Co. Please come to youtube.com and then Chantal TV. I'm going to close off my um, those streams. I stay on YouTube. Okay, they're gone. Don't trust angels because it could be uh, it could be Lucifer. <laughs> hey, Lucifer, could meet me up here. Remember to like and subscribe, yay! But it's this because it's been raining so much lately. This all twenty six. Wow! Thank you, Sue. Look at this. It's it's been warm. It's been green, or a lot of rain. Look at this. It's so, it's so, you know, lively, as you know what I mean. The other comment that I wanted to make. What was the other comment? There was another comment I wanted to make, and now I forgot. Oh well, it will come back. Okay, quarter past five. I should go towards. Um, <laughs> I should make sure not to get stuck in the middle of the cemetery. Yeah, lush. I know. But look at this grave. If you want to recreate something like this, because it's beautiful, you couldn't. Because look at the moss. I love moss. Jinx Ricky. <laughs> yeah, and then it's going to be 40 degrees. Look, with a secret hole underneath. And, yeah, oh, what is in there? Oh, we could use this light from this. Let's use a light. Oh no, I can't use lights, that freaks me out. But this is cute. The rose in the in the bucket here. Beautiful. It's so green. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say about, um, I was looking up the hay fever season and then it was like not so high, which was weird because I really suffer and Tim as well. But then they have also a critter kind of alert. And today and tomorrow, it will be really critter weather. So flies, mosquitoes, little whatever animals. It will be 10 out of 10. Look how green it is. It's crazy. It's so green. Look, this could be slippery and then you hit your head and then you're dead forever on the, <laughs> on the grave. Let me hold on to the grave. Oh. <laughs> Instead of slipping down and just... Yeah, what happened to Chateau? Well, she was laying at the graveyard the whole night. Then she died. Well, but she didn't get, she didn't get, uh, you know, she was not hit by the pandemic. <laughs> To the France, beautiful tree canopies right now. Oh wow, look at this stump, trunk, stump. And look, that grave is basically flying. There is like the, the tree roots underneath. God, I wish I could paint. So in 40 minutes, the soccer is starting, now the trunk. Stump. Well, I have my phone, so I can always watch on my phone the soccer. It's really beautiful. Well, I'm not sure if that's there, if that's what they think. So this cemetery started in 1804 it is i never took this road but it's beautiful i think that guy's looking for a place to pee mm. it 
This is very... Sculptured a lot. We would see and send help to you. Yeah, but it's so big, you wouldn't know where I was. Or do you trace my whole like path? And then the last sign was... The connection disappears. I don't know where to go. One phone has no connection in her. We could ping your phone. <laughs> Stacy, you're such an your phone. We read it out. 25 watching. Make sure to share and do all that stuff. That or like. Like is a good one. Like and comment also in the read. The caravan and the caravan. But look, so much green. Amazing. It is June 20 something. He was younger than me. 1973. <laughs> Helicopter could use a thermal camera. I know. Okay. Another open grave. It's a nice day. It doesn't rain either. Isn't that amazing? Let's not jinx it. Wow, I think either this is burnt or it fell. But some new movement in here. It is truly, truly amazing. Oh no, a bee follows me. <laughs> and I didn't even use um I didn't even use um how do you call it? Perfume. Because I know they love perfume. They have already spotted the baby foxes during the day. But look again, how beautiful. But what is all that? It's like, it comes from the trees. Okay, what time is it? 17.26. We're going down, so that's a good sign.
The life once appeared to be leaving. Yeah, <laughs> we have to. Ah, now I see where I am. I'm on the round. Oh, this is also where the camera is, that people, that's like an art piece, where the people have reserved the grave for the future. I think it's up here. Maybe go right. The camera obscura, here it is. No, they don't have sciences to direct me. But this is La Mémoire Necropolitaine, and it's a camera. And it's an art piece, so this is reserved. You see it? And then people drop their film rolls off. Oh, that's me. Oh my God. Hello, people. <laughs> wow. So if you go up there, you will have the view. Now I know where I am. Oh, for me, dirty. I wonder what sort of photos are in those film rolls. Oh no, it's just uh, the little cases. There's little stones in there, actually. Uh, Chris, so they're empty. Oh, a guide. Who's gonna freak out on me if I film him, so we're not gonna film him. But, yeah. Okay, here we are at the top where you can have a look out. Look. It's pretty, huh? It is nearly, uh, it's 5.30. I'm not only worrying about the closing time, I'm worrying about uh, the Dutch team playing <laughs> at six. <laughs> so lots of critters out there and my ears are itching. Oh yeah, is uh, Earl still here? He's probably not here, but we are close to the famous I believe the camera too much for a guy that is still... Yeah, 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 it's an artist, Peggy. Oh, it's an artist. It's a piece of art. It's him and his wife who reserved it. No, 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 I've, I've, I've done that story. Famous art piece. All my graves by now. <laughs> I had to find I am pretty knowledgeable at this time with the graves not with the monuments but with the graves yes because now we're close to um, President Faure yeah I know who are the Dutch playing? the Czech it's against the Czech so 
Dutch are playing the Czech in Hungary and lots of people took the rainbow flags and they all got confiscated when they flew in. We're protesting in the um, in the thingy in the how do you call it? Five years in two months. In five years. Twenty-five years in Paris. I can't believe it. Gave birth, raised a child. Have my my typical uh, apartment that you need to have at this age. Sorry. But cases, the Tech 21 cases, fantastic. Dropped it. Okay. We President Faure in action. France, the action of love. Well, he actually got a blowjob. And this is him. There you go. Felix Faure died in 1899, if I'm right. 1899, in the action of love. And this became a big scandal in French politics. So, but you know, which president, well, maybe not Macron, but which one didn't have an affair? <laughs> which president didn't have an affair? Yeah, Sue Ellis, want me to look it up? Felix for give you the exact lowdown on his story. So here we had. Laurent Fillon, Felix Four. Okay, here he is. Was president of France from 1895 until his death. And after work working as a tenor in his younger years, he became a member of the National Assembly. He became more prominent in French politics up until unexpectedly becoming president, during which time France's relation, relations with Russia improved. Death. Farouk died suddenly from apoplexy in the Elysee Palace on 16th of February 1899, while engaged in sexual activities in his office with 30-year-old Marguerite Steinhau. Here, he died in action. <laughs> no, the had a tag. You know, maybe she was so good. He was like, ah, oh, and died. For had his fatal seizure while Steinhell was filleting him. What is filleting? Or fallacy? Filleting is a blowjob, yeah? We all know. Cemetery. <laughs> Not the little death, the grand death. Yes. <laughs> it's fun. To So there's various jeux de mots 
puns made up afterwards by his political opponents. One such pun was to nickname Madame Steinhel La Pompe Funèbre, wordplay in French. Pompe Funèbre means death care, <laughs> death care business. And a pump funèbre could be translated literally as funeral pump. So it did you know, it's not like Corona rules. And well, every that's happening in the UK. It's just oh, my connection is dropping. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. There, still unstable. Um. You know, you talk about sex and boom, all the all the whistles go off on the YouTube and connections and phones and everybody gets too excited. The stream doesn't want to continue. <laughs> we missed every good word, I know. That's the whole idea. I just got... <laughs> it just went beep, beep, bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> you know, not good for advertising. Well, this one is not going to be good for advertising anyway. It's not like appropriate for most advertisers because I'm walking over, the, you know, graveyard or cemetery. Graveyard is around the church. Cemetery is where we're walking now. Yeah, we were sense it exactly, Ricky. Meep, meep, meep. <laughs> totally censored. Okay, it's 17.39. I'm gonna leave the other uh, cemetery. So if you ever come here, you don't know if you know the way, you don't really don't need a guide. All you do is go to this thing that says Cemetière du Père Lachaise. That's where you go. And then they have the map. So they have a QR code that you can download. That's what I did. And then you have the map of the whole cemetery. And we kind of walked. So we started at Port Cambetta and then I walked down and sort of here. Oh no, sort of like this. And then we went like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was just... Uh... Good for funeral prepay service advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that's the new, um, you know, the new um, uh, financial YouTubers <laughs> about talking about funerals. Or the new Bitcoin stuff. Okay, we're gonna go off the cemetery. Are you guys walking with me? Come. So we're gonna leave. They're restoring the entrance. I should make like a whole like series of uh, of uh, of this, of all my graveyard and cemetery experiences. Oh, taxi. It's a lot of people, eh? Everybody's out and about. Oh, he's actually going to drive up there. Interesting. Oh. Let's go this way. So here we have this big line with all the deaths uh, from the First World War. It's a memorial. The Grand Guerre. Paris à ses enfants. And I'm hot. Now, you know, it's really weird. It's so hot when you walk off the cemetery. Damn, it's hot. Yeah. 
this was fun. <laughs> it was fun to look at dead people. No, we didn't look at dead people. We only... Um, we only... Um, we walked around. Oh, damn, it's hot. Wait, I'm going to go to the, to the shade. You have 18 minutes. I know, I know. But I, I have my phones with... Uh, and, oh, I don't have my AirPods, but I do have my other thingy. And then we can listen. I don't know, dude, but to me it seems red. Brittany Morris Column. There's your column. There's your column. Spectac. So they only promote spectacle there. And they turn normally. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching everybody. I see dead people, I know. Uh, I'm gonna run to, wait, how am I gonna do this? Turn it around, turn around. I'm in my bright haps. Sorry I was not on haps today, but uh, I love them. There they are, there's, there's more I think here on the road on this Grand Boulevard, because this is kind of circling around. I'm gonna watch football, soccer, uh, the Dutch against the Czechs. Tonight is another uh, match. Is it Germany? I don't even know who's playing tonight. Um, I don't remember. Thanks for the tour. Thank you, Abiento to Le Monde. And I'm gonna email you guys, um, especially the one from Patreon. Thank you so much, because I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take the whole Patreon page offline. So the ones that are on Patreon, you expect a uh, little, little email that I'm closing it down. Thank you guys. Closing Patreon. Bye.